You guys didn't see me. <laughs> you guys didn't tell, see I was late. Well, my makeup. I should have thought that one. Simmer down now, y'all. Um, as many of y'all know, our resident builder, Mason, who has been a hard-working member of our community for many years, will be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. But today's meeting is not about goodbyes. There will be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's give out for our new builders, Mian and Kata. Thanks everyone, very excited to be starting here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Kata, care to say a few words? I want to be a great builder, I want to make a new friend, I want to... You know what, let's make some friends. Haha, <laughs> well I didn't expect that one. We've got ourselves a, com a companionable soul here. I'm sure you'll find a lot of friends here in Sandrock. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. <laughs> I love how I've got a big weapon on my back and Mian and uh, Matilda don't have anything apart from the cane. Thank you, Commissioner Yan. One more time, a big Sandrock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelettes, courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Meeting adjourned on, remember, conserve water. Inventory full. Oh, hang on. I want those omelets. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so you can talk to everyone. Pastor of the Church of Light. No need for introductions. I know who you are. I'm Pastor Miguel. I guess you could say I'm the brains behind this little operation. Him. I trust you'll be. Bri uh, I trust you'll be bring. I trust you'll be bring Telesis to Sandra Columbia. Okay, that's a time for someone. Heidi. Heidi, architect, works at construction junction. Hey there, I'm Heidi, architect around these parts. Looks like old Mason handed you down a real fixer-upper of a workshop, huh? Well, lucky for you, I do plenty of fixing up. Come by my office sometime if you're looking to upgrade your workshop. Thank you. Um, I suppose everyone's going to sleep. Oh, it's nine at night. Wait, our meeting was two hours long? Okay. Not too bad, I guess. Hi, Mian. Bye, Mian. I really need to make a chest or something. Is there an option to make a chest? Because I don't see an option to drop items. Oh, hello. Wood and copper bars. How do I make copper bars though? I can't. Furnace, metal working goods. Okay, so you need a furnace, but until then you... Right, okay, so you need to make a furnace. What is that? That's a recycler. So I can actually put the recycler down. I think. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, hmm. Right, okay. Oh, hang on. That's good. Um, we don't know. What can we add? Yeah, okay. Unlike the work table, machines take time to create items. Click here on the right to show all the items that are in line to be made. This is, I, I clicked something off that I did not mean to do that. This is how long it will take to finish making all these items. This is your fuel meter. You can check how much fuel you have and add more if you need to. When you add fuel, you can choose what kind of fuel you want to use. Some kinds of fuel last longer than others. In the previous game, it was power shards that lasted the longest. Okay, so let's add these as well. Q4. Oh... Okay, so I suppose it takes, um, I suppose you need to do upgrades and then you can add more stuff to queues and stuff. Okay. But yeah, how do I get those horns? I'm gonna guess I need to go to the ranch. Hello, builder. So nice to see you again. As per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Water, to be specific. The most precious gift of all. In Sandrock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive, so we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the oasis? It's a town's friendly way of saying, don't take water out of the oasis or really make it, or cut down the trees for that matter. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. I'm pretty sure building machines won't run without water in their water tank. So I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. See you at the Wolf's Town, you pal. 
Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Ah, oh, hello, this is finished. Did you give me copper stick? Power stone to dregs, copper bars. Yes. Ah, okay. So I can get them from the run store. Okay. So then we just need to focus on copper bars. Now this is where I get lost on the way of where I need to go. I really wish we could have a little faster on the running, but I suppose there's not much we can do. I'm gonna guess it's here. Hello, Mabel. Ah, hello. So how many do I need? I need wait, two. It would help if I press the right button. Right click to buy. Oh, you can sell. Oh, you can sell stuff. Okay, we'll leave the omelette because we might need that. So, Mabel. Yaknell Farmer, Cooper's wife. Welcome to Sandrock and Maple. My husband Cooper and I run the largest Yaknell ranch south of the Euphala. Ever tried Yaknell milk before? It's got an acquired taste. Here, take a couple of bottles. It's our way of saying howdy doody, Mabel. <laughs> I was watching The Simpsons earlier and I was so um, thinking she was going to say, Howdy do, neighbour, you know? I'm very, kind of, I'm very, very happy that she didn't say, Howdy do, neighbour, you know? Because that would have been a little annoying. Okay, so, we need more wood. Okay, I should have enough to make another stick. I need three or four for this. Two. Okay, okay. No, that's a couple one. Oh, wait, hang on. I need two. Why? Oh, how much is it to expand? Three thousand coals. Okay. So it's like the first one where you can actually buy land to expand. I actually wonder how much, um, how big the expansions are in this game. Like in the previous game, it was actually quite a good amount. But I was never really good at, um, being able to afford expansions. Hello. Oh, hi. Please don't look at me like that. Chicken scrap. I need to upgrade my pick hammer or something. Ow. <laughs> That's exactly why. Okay, so I think we've got enough for another wooden stick, and then it's just to... Okay. It's just to finish the furnace and we can actually really get going. I like the tumbleweeds in this game. I don't know why, the tumbleweeds are really amusing me right now. Alright, so... Tell me your. Oh no, that's wood. I really need quartz badly. Oh, there's one. Twenty-two more. Fine, that's nice. Also, I do like how many different diverse characters there are so far. What the hell? It's a scorpion. Poof. Oh my god, he's got a bird on his shoulder. He's a doctor. What do you want? Raven, companion of Fang. Ah, you must be looking for the doctor. We have something for you, for new person. Squawk, no danger at all. Take it, you jerk. <laughs> wow, what? So that's what happens. Should be safe, should be, should be. You know, you remind me of Morden from uh, the Mass Effect series. <laughs> what was that introduction just then? So, as I was talking about diverse characters, yeah, I think that one just took the biscuit. You're watering trees, Burgess? Shouldn't you just, like, you know, let the trees grow as they should? Or am I missing something here? Oh. That's a quality wood scrap. Wee! Oh, ho, ho. I do. I know there's no fall down. I don't really want to fall down there. Rubber scrap. Okay, I can't do those. Those are hard rocks, I can't do those either. Oh, I can do gravel. Please, I need one or two more quartz. Knowledge point unlocked. I leveled up to five, and I've got the quartz I need. Let's have a look at the thing. 
Okay, while playing the game you will get different kinds of knowledge EXP, which will automatically turn into knowledge points. As you gain more knowledge points, new knowledges will open up. Okay. Ah. Click on nodes on different branches to spend knowledge points and gain new perks. Getting perks lower on the tree unlocks more advanced ones higher in the thing. Uh, you know, this would be perfect. Okay. Because the more, if you can enhance how much EXP you get, that'll help you in the long run. Also, I have to admit, the music's so relaxing. I really like it. If there's anything that Pathia Games know, it's how to put together some beautiful music for the game. No, oh, we are not putting that in the museum because I need this one. So hopefully now we can make copper bars, which are really needed. Oops, I got stuck on that. Okay, so let's see. Bricks, copper bars. Copper ores, abandoned ruins. You feel us? Oh, are you kidding? I can't make copper bars, really. I can make bricks and glass, but I can't make copper bars. I'm a little upset by that. Tell you what, let's have a look at the promotion on the bridge and then I think we'll have to end this for now. So let's quickly see what's going on on the bridge. Avoid water pollution. I mean, given the state of the world we actually live in nowadays, talking about water pollution and all that kind of stuff actually works well for this game. Because it might educate people further to not waste water, look after the environment a bit better guys so oh hello Costa. what did i just walk into hey builder what are you doing so far from your workshop it ain't safe here for some darn reason these lizard folk have been poking into our territory as of late spray painting their names all over things picking at structures all over i've heard they're even messing with our bridge here they call themselves the geeklers <laughs> and them at it all em emboldened like couldn't have come at a worse time. Light knows we've got enough to worry about with Logan and his gang out prowling around. Well be warned, best be on your way away from here. They don't look very friendly from here and I don't really think I want to mess with them. Unfortunately that's all I have time for this session. Thank you so so much for watching. And a special thanks again to Papier Games for not forgetting me and giving me this chance to actually have a go at the Sandrock demo. It has such great potential. I'm very excited to see the full game come out, hopefully later this year or next year. Um, the customization, um, I get that it's a demo, but I would like to see more hairstyles come out. And I'd also like some colouring um, coloring options like my YouTube avatar will be called to play as like half black, half blue. Like different dye options rather than just uh, highlights, I suppose you call uh, the options we have at the moment. Um, I love the characters, they're very diverse, as you saw earlier when that crow scared me a little. X, I think it was. I love the music choices as per usual. The music is really relaxing and it actually sets the tone for the game very well. Nice and relaxing and then you've got like the bricks flying towards me. <laughs> I threw me off from him. Okay. But yeah, I love the music, I love the background, I love that skybox, it's so pretty. Um, you've done justice to this game. As a sequel for the first game, it really is doing it justice. I'm very happy with that and I'm hoping that I can ride those horses at some point. Also, I would like to know what Logan did. Hopefully that is explained later on, either in the demo or in the actual game itself, because there are a few things I'd question. Um, there are a few typos here and there, which I've spotted. But other than that, it is looking great. Also, I'd love to see voice acting uh, being added, and I'd love to see the voices that you choose. Again, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you like the videos that I put out and would like to support me in any future videos I put out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Oh, look at that background. Bye, folks.